style back when we were in this area as Laguna. Seem to be a little bit less now. Wow, look at this place. Half cut no, no, never mind. Okay, apparently we're just going to leave her behind. Uh, past experience with these people says maybe we shouldn't be trusting them, but, you know, our former enemy says go ahead and trust them, so, okay. Lunar Gate. What the hell is that? Where am I going here? Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Wow, look at this place. Uh, how you guys doing? Not permitted. What? Let me in. Damn it. Fine. Be a bunch of douchebags. And every experience we've had with these people has been basically in the, um flashbacks of Laguna, and he's been fighting them, usually because they they were the hostile people that went and tried taking over the world 20-some years ago. And, well, that's kind of uh, screwy, because, I mean, at the time, Galbato were the good guys. Now, if these guys were so evil that it made Galbato look good by comparison, there must be really something wrong with them. But we haven't found a whole lot of reason since we've arrived at this point to perceive them as being a threat. In fact, they've been rather courteous and stuff to a certain extent, although Squall is obviously, and for probably good reason, rather uh, cautious. Now, to be honest, this was part of the game that really bored me the first time I played through there and through here, and I've been kind of um, dreading playing through this part of the game because there is a lot of story and stuff. There just isn't enough gameplay to really... Wow. I got no room for drawing stuff. What is this, Blizzard? Blizzard? Who wants Blizzard? Blizzard is such an old spell, nobody really needs that crap anymore. You can't stock more Blizzard is because... The reason why we can't draw Blizzard is because Blizzard is fully stocked on all of our characters. Oh, jeez. Wow, this place is bigger than I was thinking. Now, the, one of the things that I've always found as a really irritating thing in these RPGs is the way that they portray the world. And it's usually they portray the world to be in a much, much smaller thing than is probably realistic. For example, say Final Fantasy VII, the immediate predecessor to this game, put a, 
put forward a world that seemed like it only had a population of maybe like 300 people or something like that. And that's being generous, I think. There were just regular people around, but it gave the impression that the, the world was a much, much smaller place. And even the cities, like you go to a town, and it's supposed to be like a self-sustaining town that exists all on its own and has a population of like 15. It seems weird. But here's something that they're doing in this game, and it, it's something that I think they did better in later games, was give the impression that the cities, for example, the cities you're going into, are much larger than what you actually have access to. Look at this. This uh, cityscape I'm looking at right here is gigantic, and obviously you can't go everywhere in this city. Just very specific locations that you can just wander around in, and any further location is blocked off. I say Final Fantasy XII did this to a better extent. But, one of the, but the problem that persists with this game is the overworld is much, much smaller than, uh, than you would expect in a real world. Like, I, the only thing I can really... I guess you can't really buy anything here. Oh, yeah, we can. Cool. This is kind of stupid. <laughs> hey, Cloud Shop. Here you go! Oh, ah, thanks. I didn't pay for anything. The overworld is a... Um, makes the GF forget an ability. I'm gonna want a bunch of those. And, uh... I'll buy one of these, just in case. It's important to be able to adjust your GFs, you know. Even though I spent a lot of money, you don't really need money for a lot of things in this game. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, the overworld in this game gives the impression that there are only maybe like a dozen or so population centers in the world. So it seems like kind of a... Like, the entire world consists of, is really small, and there are only so many different countries, a small number of countries, and so many different militaries in the world, it seems completely irrational that this world is something that exists. I'm buying the different magazines and stuff that I've been unable to just pick up in the game while I'm wandering around. Basically just brought myself up to date. Hi! And that's something that this game continued... I already did this. This is something that this game doesn't really do any better than the ones that came before. But, um... John Wan's shop. Oh! Weapon upgrades. Uh, can I do any of these? Yeah, this game really doesn't do it any better than 7 or 6 or 5 or anything like that, for that matter. That did any better. But, I'd say, like, the, probably the best game for thinking of this was probably maybe 10 or 12, which, damn it, I've already been to this shop. Gives a much better impression that the world is a large place. Oh, this shop's closed. Man, it's a waste. Exit. 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 Damn it, what's going on here? Okay, I got out of it. <laughs> Have a nice day! But it gives the impression not only of the cities larger than what you have access to, but the world itself is much bigger because you basically have to walk from every location to the other. There's no big overworld for you to see like what you should be seeing as the entire world. But anyway, I'm wandering way off topic. Rent a car. Let's rent a car. Here's one of the things that irritated me a bit. Uh, do we need to rent a car? I don't think we need to rent a car. Yeah, let's rent a car. Uh, one of the irritating things I thought about this, they tell you to go to a place called the Lunar Gate, but they don't really tell you where it is. Just go east! East! Which way is east? You mean east in the city? Or should I leave the city and head east? Wow, look at this place. Hmm. 
wandering around the inside of the city. They mean you to go east on the world map. So I'm gonna go east on the world map, which would be in this direction. Although I can't quite get out of the city quickly enough. Hmm. Well, this place is gigantic. Easily the biggest city on the planet. It's amazing that they have the technology to go and hide this kind of thing. Because remember, Estar for the past maybe 18 or so years, since the end of the Sorcerer's War, has cut itself off completely from the outside world. It's rather amazing that they were able to pull that off. Um, whoops. Not this map. Let's, uh, let's turn off uh, the junction ability to get out of battles. Amazing that they had the technology to prevent this city from being seen by the outside world. There's where we're going out there. And obviously they're the biggest, most technologically advanced society out there, and they easily could have crushed Galbata right now if they wanted to. But, um... Yeah, you know. They've been hiding. Whoops. Okay, these are pretty much the same enemies that we've seen earlier. That's another one of the things I didn't like about this game was since the love the enemies tend to level up with your characters, they um, you have a tendency to run into the same kinds of enemies over and over and over again in the various different locations because they're just the same enemies over again that you're encountering at a higher level. Zell doesn't have anything equipped. That's a shame. Uh, can you stock any of these things? There isn't really any magic that I want out of these things either. It's a shame. Life is a powerful spell. It's a shame I can't stock it as Zell, though. Give me a sec, I'm gonna stay here and stock a bunch of spells as Selfie Squall. I'm not gonna make you watch you do that, obviously, but, um... Oh, she's picked up all of her... Hmm, okay. Okay, we've gone through here and I've beaten the crap out of these things quite enough. Uh, I've managed to draw all the magic out of these things that I could. So, let's see if we can end this fight. Although I'm continuing to card the enemies so I don't gain any um, experience points out of them, it's really not as necessary as it was earlier in the game. Like, I'm pretty deep into the game at this point. I'm still encountering enemies that have like first level spells in them because their levels are remaining low just like me and that gives a sort of inherent limitation over the power that your characters can get even though you can junction more powerful spells and it increases the strength and hp and all that of your characters you're going to be limited by how strong you can make them by lower abilities lower magic that you're junctioning in your character but there is a way around it unfortunately is a rather long and slow process, which involves taking your low-level magic and refining it into mid-level magic. Uh, I can't do it with Squall here. You can do it with her. Okay. I have 41 cures. Five of those using this mid-magic mid refining ability will turn them into one cura. I also have uh, 100 cures right now, so I can't actually do that. I have too much. Uh, I already have 100. So you cure, refine those into the higher levels. Then you go to High Magic Refine, and you can do the same thing by refining Curas into Curagas, which is a more powerful version, and it burns through quite a bit of your spell stock. Look, here we go. I have eight. And you go and re you refine these to the higher levels, and then you go and take your higher level magics, and then you go and junction them. See, 15 to 45 use up all the cure spells that I have, but it refined them higher, so now I can junction those higher level spells and get a better effect out of it. Let's see if I actually got anything out of that. Also, um... Yeah, that, this is, uh... It's not really necessary. Oh, yeah, also the card refining abilities that you have. Damn it. Card. Where was card? Card mod. You can turn cards into items which can be used to, um, which can be used to 
give yourself some powerful uh, ultimate weapon, huh? Give yourself some powerful new spells. Like, let's say, um, ultimate... Oh, where was that? Ultima Stone. Same effect as Ultima. You can refi refine that, I think. Damn it, what am I doing here? Let's see, um... Refine items from an eye Magic from an item. Let's see, can I do it with this? No. Life recovery magic. Oh, that's the wrong way. But anyway, I should be able to refine that to a, to a spell in some way. Also, I'm not particularly... Um, it's not really necessary anymore for me to prevent my characters from leveling up a lot because I've gained new ability, strength bonus, plus one bonus at two strength at level up. Squall is only at level 22 at this point, and the maximum level is, I think, 99. Every time you level up, your strength is going to increase by one, regardless of whether it would have gone up by that level or not. Leveling up normally is actually kind of a kind of a pointless thing in this game, because your stat gains by leveling up is very minimal. minimal. So, leveling up doesn't really make you stronger, it's the junctioning that makes you stronger. But, when you have these stat boost abilities, your ability to... your abilities increase rather dramatically when you level up. And later GFs, I'm gonna get later on in the game, increase various stats when you level up, not just strength. And that is going to be a very useful thing later on in the game, but I don't have that ability right now, so... I'm going to be a little cautious about when I level up. But anyway, in this case, Squall, by the time I hit the end of the game, is going to be a complete freaking beast, because he can kick the snot out of the things really freaking quickly. This place looks familiar, doesn't it? Ah, oh, alright. This was, of course, where Lugana had been held prisoner back in the flashback, in the last episode. They seem to be treating these little things better than they did in the past. Saw one playing around outside, not, um... That's where I was supposed to go, wasn't it? I was going to the Lunar Gate. Is that where I am right now? Or did I go to the wrong place? Shit. I think I might have went to the wrong place. Give me a sec. Yeah, I did go to the wrong place. This is where I needed to go. This is the Lunar Gate. I ran all the way to the wrong location. <laughs> kind of a dumbass. Was this it? Shit. I'm hoping this was it. It's been a little while. It's been a little while. Stop! Damn it. You tell me this is where I'm supposed to go? What is wrong with me? There's a lot of things hanging around here. Um, hmm. That looks promising. Let's run all the way back there. Oh, shit. There it is. That's definitely it. I was, uh... There's a lot of places you can go check out in this place. There's that. There's the thing I was just at. Jeez, that star have clearly put their stuff all around here. Okay. Yeah, this is where I'm supposed to go. Jeez, imagine how confused I was the first time I played this game when, uh... I really had no idea where I was going. I'm running around like kind of a dumbass. I guess I could have driven the car. It would have gotten me here a lot quicker. A car showed up, but I'm not getting out of it because I walked. Exercise. What is it, some kind of airport? Hey, 
Hey, a dog. Oh, it's Angelo. You didn't actually speak to the dog, you just thought that, buddy. You realize you didn't say that out loud, right? And what is this? How'd you guys beat me here? Damn, I'm pissed. I should have went with you. Space? Who said anything about space? I think I didn't say anything about space. Sure. Zell can't fuck that up, can he? Oh, maybe this was a mistake. I guess it really doesn't matter who you bring with you. Uh, there will not be any battles. So. She's unconscious, but who cares? Let's do this! Whoa, that was a quick elevator. Um, this doesn't look much like a rocket to me. Wait a sec, is that a revolver? Holy shit! That would have killed them. <laughs> 